welcome guys thank you very much for joining me i'm sorry i chuckled because i just saw some sort of a white something go behind the camera and just float like this kind of weirded me out a little bit uh toys tackle it's raining again so if you listen carefully you'll be able to hear your little soundtrack there for bedtime oh hopefully our rain doesn't last too long it poured yesterday so it's nice to have a bit of sunshine in between uh we're gonna start with the tarot tokens for this read and then i don't know if we're gonna pull some letters and numbers i'm just sort of going with what i'm being told here so i got three because that kind of has been what we're up to when we do this let's see what they are so we have the fool coin we have justice and the fucking rain is going again and we have hangman interesting okay i'm whoo i tell you what i'm already receiving from these coins uh, somebody is getting some sort of karmic justice. Somebody acted like a fool. And because of their behavior, they're experiencing some sort of a justice. Um, I don't think we're going to pull letters or numbers here. I'm getting a real funky ass fucking vibe from these coins already. I'm trying to figure out what deck I got to use here. And I'm actually just getting pulled to the Rider White instead of getting pulled to any of my Oracle cards. So I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We'll see uh, what comes forward. I don't know. I feel something really weird and funky in these coins and the message that's coming through here. Uh, let's see. Queen of Pentacles. Um, I do. Jesus Christ Almighty. I do have this distinct impression. Uh, somebody's not on the up and up. Some uh, this Queen of Pentacles. She's usually a really nice, nurturing energy. That is not what I feel in this read. I definitely feel like this is... I tell you, it's somebody who's up to something in the occult. That's so weird. I have never... Guys, I've never gotten that vibe from the Queen of Pentacles before. If you look up whatever meaning goes along with it, you're not going to find that either. I just always trust my intuition and what my spirit guides are telling me about what a card means. This person's up to something they shouldn't be. Is that fucking hail? You've got to be kidding me. That is not a coincidence, guys, that I'm fucking seeing shit flying behind the camera. We're having this kind of a message come out. And now it's like pounding fucking rain or hail on the roof of my greenhouse. Not by accident. We have the moon card. I'm the death card. This person is... Okay, you will fucking let up now, please and thank you. This person's up to no good. This person is using the occult for wrong things. I don't know if they're just using tarot or they're trying to do some sort of like dark magic or black magic or like death spells or whatever kind of stupid shit they're trying to do. Uh, they're creating a whole lot of hurt for themselves. Um, I just see like really dark like black energy swirling around whoever this person is. This is not Page of Pentacles. They've made some sort of an offering to something to be able to have, I don't, like I said, I don't know, it's some sort of a payoff. It's like if they're trying to, I do feel like they're trying to harm other people with this. So it's like their thinking is, if I make an offering to whatever this entity is or this thing or whatever, that it will do my bidding. They don't realize there's a higher cost than what they're offering. And by following through with whatever it is they're doing, they're agreeing to pay that cost unknowingly agreeing to pay that cost and they will pay dearly we have the two of pentacles here and the queen of swords too uh they're trying to send it to the queen of swords that's who they're trying to send it to uh, but this queen of swords i see a lot of light around her uh i see that whatever this darkness is it can't touch her i don't know if she's very spiritually gifted or very spiritually protected or both or whatever it is or she's sort of is aware of darker energies and she knows how to sort of do that like return to sender kind of thing and cleansing her home and cleansing her space i see that she sent it back with this two of pentacles she's like sent it back on where it's supposed to go she sent it back on where it's coming from it is this queen of pentacles i'm trying to get a beat on what why this person is after this queen of swords uh i'm being told the word greed uh envy jealousy this queen of swords is finding some sort of level of success in her life that this queen of pentacles is very jealous of uh instead of this queen of pentacles going hey you know what i'd like to have that kind of thing in my life so i'm gonna get off my fucking duff and i'm gonna work hard to achieve it instead of doing that she's like i'm gonna dabble in some really dark shit and send some really nasty energy to ruin somebody else's life like you can't live life like you can't fucking go through life like that and think it's gonna work out peachy for you you fucking can't. Like, I don't know where this Queen of Pentacles head is at. 
But uh, she's, like I said, right in those coins. Fucking karmic justice. Absolutely karmic justice. We have the lover's card too. Oh, that is really interesting. Uh, I'm going to pull some more to see exactly where that fits. Uh, it might just represent a Gemini. And this Queen of Swords might be a Gemini. Because swords can represent an air sign. Because I don't get a romantic vibe here at all. So I don't feel like it speaks to romance. Uh, we do have the Nine of Wands. Oh my god, even in that Nine of Wands. Even in that Nine of Wands, I see the Queen of Pentacles energy. But I see it like looking at what other people have. And super envious. Envious. I don't know if this person has had struggles in their life. Or they've looked at other people who have been prosperous in their life. And so they kind of have like this. I don't want to say like a feeling of like the world owes them kind of thing. But like tired of seeing other people around them be prosperous. Um, and feeling for whatever reason like they can't do it themselves. Sorry, I'm having a hard time talking too. I know this is this fucking Queen of Pentacles who's been messing with my shit. And... But I'm saying it anyway. She can she can kiss my ass. I'm saying it in this read. I'm going to still read these cards. I'll just cleanse afterwards. Uh, we do have the Three of Swords here too. I think this is somebody who's probably had a lot of heartbreak in their life. Uh, probably. I don't know if they've lived in poverty. Like I said, I just have this sense of, of being in somebody else's skin. Looking through their eyes and looking at others around me. And seeing others be happy seeing others that have things that I can't afford to have, uh, seeing others, like laughing and then feeling like on the outside, feeling on the outside, looking in like I'm never included, I'm never a part of that, I never get to have. I, this is this, this dark energy and this envy and this hatred that this person has built up has been over years. This has happened over a period of years due to different circumstances in their life. And instead of using these circumstances as motivation to bring about a positive change in their life they're actually using it and funneling it into like hate like the, it's like the fucking dark side you know giving into the dark side of the force uh, instead of using it to like motivate them to be like you know i want to have a better life so i'm gonna you know work my ass off over here i'm gonna try and get self-educated i'm gonna try to learn some sort of a trade or some sort of a skill that i can take and i can better my life they're just like, I'm going to be a fucking asshole. I'm going to destroy all these assholes who have worked hard to build their own selves up. I'm going to knock them all down because that's what I see as justice. And that's what this Queen of Pentacles is after. She's just looking to, to harm other people. She's just looking in a negative way, looking at negative shit. You know what? I keep getting this vibe too, like this Queen of Swords doesn't even know who this person is. I keep getting this vibe like this Queen of Swords hasn't actually met this Queen of Pentacles. They just represent something to this Queen of Pentacles. Like they're not friends. They're not family. They don't talk. I don't know if there's some sort of imagined relationship or imagined slight here. I think it's more just because this Queen of Swords is someone who represents what this Queen of Pentacles wish that they could have but doesn't think they're capable of achieving. We have the Five of Wands conflict. Lots of conflict. The Temperance card. I'm going to pull a few more Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles. Well, now we got a male energy involved here. And the Emperor. Uh, this Queen of Pentacles is jealous. I It ties into something to do with this King of Pentacles too. The Emperor. Uh, this is different males in this person's life i do believe a male parent and then i believe a male in a romantic relationship like they've been slighted by lots of lots of people they've had their heart broken a lot of times that's why this queen of pentacles is so fucking sour as like they are so filled with anger and resentment and hate and they're just looking to vent it at somebody i, the, I feel like the people they need to vent it at is the, the king of pentacles and the emperor are, are probably part of it. There's probably other people too who they need to speak their truth to and haven't done that. Because I don't feel like this person actually uh, confronts shit like that. Like this is shit from their past. Maybe they're ashamed of. Maybe they hide. We have judgment. We have the tower. What is going on with all of this though? Because I know this person had shit sent back to them. Judgment, the tower... Oh, that's where they fit. Um, this Queen of Pentacles, 
the more they do this stuff, the more shit they have go wrong in their life. So like this nasty, really dark energy. Because this is, I think this started as just being angry. This probably started as just gossip and rumors and being real petty and shit before it moved into this occult crap. I feel like, you know, that petty stuff probably caused them to not have a lot of friends because nobody really trusted them and kind of isolated them, which made them more bitter. And it sort of is like a vicious cycle, right? That just drove them forward and forward that eventually landed here. But this shit is a lot bigger. It's a lot more negative. It's things that a lot of people don't truly understand. This person does not understand what they're dabbling with. They don't understand who they're making a pact with or what they're making a pact with and what they're agreeing to pay as an actual price. I don't think they really get the gravity of what they're doing. Uh, this Queen of Swords is somebody who's protected. It is somebody spiritual. It is somebody who has a bit of a sniff as to kind of what's going on. And I do feel like this person was able to just send whatever back. Ah. Uh. I think it's causing big towers in this Queen of Pentacles life. If it, if it hasn't already, it's building up to it. This person has big losses coming in their life, this Queen of Pentacles. Extremely big losses. Because of that, I see that in the Tower card. I see it in the Judgment card. It is like karmic justice. It is the universe making a judgment call here. Dishing out, dishing out justice. Like putting the scales back into balance. Balancing them back out. Three of Mm, I'm gonna grab a few more. You know what? Oh, that's really creepy. Uh, this three of cups. I don't. A lot of times, I don't get a negative vibe from it. It represents happiness, celebration, whatever. I get pulled back to this Queen of Pentacles, and I feel like they're part of a group. I feel like they're part of a little group uh, studying. I don't know if they're studying this dark shit and studying it like it's a craft. I like this dark magic. This is not going to end well for any of them. This is not going to end well for any of them. Any of the shit they're sending out, it's coming back. This Queen of Pentacles has already experienced it. I, I, I don't know if the other people they're participating with this, participating in with this thing, if they're experiencing towers in their lives too. Because I just feel everything's coming back into balance and it's based on choices that everybody made. So this Queen of Pentacles, whoever else is involved with this Three of Cups, who's doing these negative things, dabbling in dark energies, trying to send negativity into other people's lives, it's coming back to them. And it's because their lives are each different, it's coming back to them in different ways. It's coming back and ruining relationships with people. This might have to do with housing. This might have to do with jobs, with livelihood, with other relationships in life. We do have the Four of Wands. The Ten of Wands and the Two of Cups. Yeah, I keep feeling like some of these cards belong to the Queen. Some of these cards belong to somebody else who this Three of Cups represents. And like everybody's going through different things. But it's all balance. It's all karma coming back into balance. Sending that negativity out just brings it right back in. Balance, balance. I'm going to grab a few more about what's going on. Eight of Swords. That Eight of Swords. Uh, she's not sleeping. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, she isn't sleeping. I don't know if she's having nightmares. Uh, but she is... She is not at peace in her own home wherever she lives. Because I think this shit came back at her. Uh, and I don't know what it was that she made a deal with. That she tried to sick on somebody else. But it was something very nasty and now it's back and it's tormenting her. It is tormenting her. It's pushing other people away from her. You know what? I think she got kicked out of her little groupie too. And that's why I'm getting more about her than I'm getting about them. I think they all turned on her. Not two of wands. Queen of wands. Two of wands. Choosing a path. I see encouragement in the cards for her to get her shit together. That's what I see. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, the cards are sending encouragement to be able to take a step back, to look at the behavior that she's exhibiting, to look at the types of things that she's doing and getting involved with, and to be able to see it with different eyes, to be able to see how negative it is to send that shit out to other people. I think there's like a call for her to change. This person... Uh, it's funny because this person is showing up then as the Queen of Wands. The cards are telling me that this person has the potential to change their life path. 
whoever this queen of pentacles is, they have the potential to bring forward change in their life. It's up to them whether they do it or not. This, this crazy shit coming back at them, these towers they're experiencing, the isolation they're experiencing, all of the conflict, all of the burdens, all of that is meant to give them a wake up call. It's meant to show them that you can't live this way. Be the hermit. Shine that light on those dark places within. Shine that light on your own behavior and being able to, to see you are just doing more harm than good and that it is all coming back your way. I'm going to grab a few more here because I want to know more about what's going on. We do have the sun card here too. Oh, and the nine of pentacles, the three of wands. All these cards tell me that this queen of pentacles, it's like it's total free will, guys. And it's coming out a lot of my, like all my reads today, free will, free will, free will. So you're probably fucking sick of hearing it. But I got to tell you what the tarot cards are saying. They're saying that whoever this queen of pentacles is, it's up to her whether she's going to be the nine of pentacles or whether she's going to be this tower. You know, it's up to her which way her life goes. She can have, she can have positivity. She can have that, that sense of leadership and being this strong figure and coming into her own if she moves with honesty and integrity in life. She can have this nine of pentacles feeling. She is capable of building herself up. I actually see in the card, she's not an idiot. Like this person's not stupid. This person can make a go of things for themselves. They can better their life. They are absolutely capable of doing it, but they have to find their way out of the eight of swords first. And that's a mind trap. That's all, everything that goes on in our mind, everything that goes on in our subconscious, being able to do your shadow work, being able to confront those dark things and, and being able to look at those real raw truths about ourselves. This person hasn't done it up until now. They've just been acting out against other people, taking it out on other people instead of looking within to find the answers and then being able to rely on themselves, to pick themselves up to build on their own, to trust in their own ability, to be able to obtain the things that they want in life, to be able to obtain blessings. We're going to grab more cards here because I'd like to know more about what's going on with this person, where they're going. Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I see in the cards we got a lot of free will here. I see we're being pushed. I see this person is being pushed and given signs to move in a different way. At the end of the day, it's up to them. I'm actually being told with this Eight of Cups, a lot of times it's sort of like leaving the past behind, starting a new journey, healing. I'm being told the word ignoring. It's like they're ignoring signs. They're ignoring signs that are being given to them from the spiritual realm to keep pursuing the negativity that they are pursuing. I feel like this negative shit has been going on in their life for quite a while. And those things don't happen by accident. Those are signs. Those are signs from the universe. First, it starts out with a whisper and something small. The more you ignore it, the fucking louder it gets until you wind up with a humongous ass tower. And that's what this person is driving towards if they haven't received it already yet. Do you have the king of wands too? Hmm... And the hangman, the queen of cups, seven of pentacles. I feel like this person just wants love. This person wants love. They want connection. They want validation. Uh, they want to have friends. They want to have companionship. They want to build a prosperous life financially. Like these are all part of their goals. But instead of putting their energy into focusing on that, and bettering themselves, learning their life lessons, and making positive choices. They're like funneling it in the opposite fucking direction. And that's why we had these three coins come out first. It's like, they were a fool. They were a fool to act out in this way. They are causing their own towers. They are bringing about their own negativity in life. This person who they targeted was a lot more higher vibrational spiritually. And so was able to block this and send it back. And I, like I said, I, I keep getting the word nightmare. So I feel like this queen of pentacles has put herself in a really bad spot. Now she's got this shit that's sort of lurking around her too. It doesn't mean she can't find a way to heal it. If she reaches out to some sort of a spiritual leader, try and help her to undo what she did. Cause I don't feel like it's permanent. I don't feel like it's set in stone, but I feel like this thing is going to torment her and hover around her until she decides to make positive changes in her life. And it has to be consistent, positive changes to be able to not just push this thing away, 
but then to create a boundary where it is no longer has a chance to come into her life. Because as soon as she's slipping into this negative shit, it sends those vibes out and it opens a door for the shit to come back in. So she has to make uh, a very firm and permanent change in her life. If she wants to be relieved of all these towers, of this eight of swords, of this spiritual negativity and this heavy ass energy that is circling around her. Like I said, it's like a black swirl that just keeps going around and around and around her. And it's because of what she's creating. It's because of those dark emotions that she's allowing to rule her choices and rule her life. I just keep seeing free will. Free will. She has the power to change the situation. She has the power to change the direction that her life is going in. But it is entirely up to her which drives this. So I don't know who this Queen of Swords is. You know, if this is somebody who's a little bit worried about, you know, a Queen of Pentacles sending shit their way, uh, I wouldn't be. Because it's uh, I for all I can feel from that card, that Queen of Swords is like light. It's just light. So this person has been able to protect themselves, to be able to send whatever back. This person is protected. This person is not being harmed by what the Queen of Pentacles is doing. The Queen of Pentacles is just making harm for themselves. Whoever she is, guys. Alrighty, I hope that you enjoyed that read. And I hope you guys have an absolutely great rest of your day. I am going to go sage everything now. Take care, guys.